you virtually for now. My name's Peter Davis. I was a police officer for 23 years, serving over the, all over the state of Western Australia, finishing my tour as officer in charge of a country police station. I was nearing retirement and chose to start a small business and purchased a franchise called Eagle Boys Pizza. Eagle Boys are the second largest chain behind Domino's in Australia. I invested over $300,000 in purchasing a pizza shop, fitting it out and buying equipment. The town I was already in had two other pizza shops run by locals, but we were a national chain with huge marketing power, so we were confident in doing well. Opening week, hundreds and hundreds of customers came in and were lining up at the door and I thought I had won the lottery. Weeks and months went by and we were doing very well, but then the customers slowly started dropping off and the bills kept going up. I was losing money each week and I was so stressed out. My family were upset, my wife was not talking to me and had to lay off some staff. I've got to tell you, that was the hardest part I have ever had to do. I was in contact with my head office, pleading with them to help me. We ran extra flyers, run some print heads at my cost. Mind you, we couldn't get a, get a small spike in sales, but it would drop off. I maxed out so many credit cards in paying for this advertising, only to get a very small return. I was so desperate. The bank was calling, threatening to foreclose, not only on my shop, but my family home. You can imagine the stress of that. It's amazing what passes through your mind when you're desperate. I would lay awake at night think, trying to think of some ways to turn this around. I started thinking about the police service and I remembered my complaint my wife made that I seemed to be married to my mobile phone as it was always with me. Since I was the town sergeant, I had to be reachable 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I remember that I used to get calls and texts all the time. Heck, I even looked over to the bedside table and saw my own cell phone was on and other things started to become clear. I started to notice that every, nearly everyone I knew had a cell phone. People were talking and texting all day long. I knew my teenage children were, and then it hit me. Why not use SMS and text to better serve my customers at the police, at the uh, pizza shop? It was like a light bulb went off. Everybody uses SMS, and everybody always has a phone with them. Some even sleep with them. I mean, my flyer and print heads were just not working, so why not use it? I went to work in the next day and manned the phones myself. Every time an order came in, I would look, took the person's cell number, I would use my own phone and send an SMS when the pizza went in the oven, then sent one when it came out and was ready to be picked up. It's like, oh my God, the customer came in and was blown away. They were like, wow, that was so good to receive that text. My pizza is hot and what a cool way to be notified. So I told my staff to capture cell numbers and start started implementing this process. And my God, did the customers like it? They were so full of praise on what a cool idea and even had people who had never been in before saying they only ordered so they could get the texts. I knew I was onto something. I was better serving my customers. The same later developed into interactive text response. So after five years of working, developing and testing to ensure it works for every type of business owner, I'm happy to share with you so you have a number of influential professionals and business owners that are using it successfully for the last few years. We have taken the input and incorporated it. Now it's ready for you to use and to help other business owners around the world so everybody wins. The last five years have been a long journey on this product. However, it was worth it every day because this is the game changer to me for the business owner, how they can acquire leads for their businesses right now. Now you know my little story. Let us work together and make this a huge success for everyone to win one business at a time. I'll be around to help you to make it happen in the PSA Alt Affiliate Marketers Group. I'll also need to thank my very good mentor and friend, Mr. Sadiq from Georgia and originally from Pakistan, who has helped guide me not only in the development of my product, but by providing practical, implementable ideas and guidance. He also helped me connect with his mentors, such as Alec Mendocin, Glenn Dietzel, and Ted Thomas, plus Jason Gilman. So humbled to share with you, they are using this product and love it. Last but not least, Mr. Deke helped me personally to become the better person. Thank you, Mr. Sadiq. So let's get, get to it and help business owners improve their business. Thank you.